Chemicals of Emerging Concern, a general quote with specific problems. Throughout the last decade, the definition of contaminants of emerging concern has moved into an open-ended and ambiguous term. Currently, any compound that is not monitored but might enter the environment and potentially cause an adverse effect to the ecosystem or human health can be considered as an emerging compound. Between 1998 and 2007, spending on prescription drugs used outside of hospitals grew from $8 billion to $19 billion. It's estimated that the global pharmaceutical market will exceed $1.5 trillion by 2023. Emerging compounds could be classified into five main groups. Unfortunately, there is no regulatory agencies controlling their emission. In a study measuring contaminants in tap water, 316 contaminants were found from 20 million drinking water tests from 2004 till 2009, from which only 114 were contaminants with emission standard limit, while 202 contaminants were unregulated. In Canada, from 5,800 treatment system, only 25% are advanced, uh, advanced processes, while the rest either not treated or pro processed in a conventional activated sludge system. These systems are also inefficient in removing emerging compounds, so the chemicals are being released into the environment through the wastewater treatment plant effluent system or the sludge. Despite low concentration, the pollutants are being accumulated in aquatic systems, causing endocrine disrupting effects, antibiotic resistance, and in some cases even extinction or biodiversity change in aquatic habitats. So, what's the solution? The treatment systems should be upgraded or optimized. Wastewater treatment plant fate models acting as a risk assessment tool gives us a better knowledge of the chemical distribution through the wastewater treatment plant. These models are being fed with the plant operational parameters and physiochemical properties. The model output also gives an idea of the possible additional removal processes like adsorption or advanced oxidation. Additionally, highest removals could be achieved by optimizing the plant operational parameters. So the fake model output could be fed into the genetic algorithm to give us an efficient operational parameters to maximize the removal of emerging compounds. However, Optimization of operational parameters to enhance the removal of emerging pollutants may not be able to completely remove them. Therefore, a final filtration can be considered to capture the remaining pollutants. There are different commercially available adsorbents like activated color or resins that can be used. Nevertheless, these adsorbents are also expensive and may not be appropriate for the targeted compounds. So, our solution is for this issue is using of agricultural residue for the adsorption preparation. Why? Because agricultural residues are abundant and available everywhere. For example, in Canada, about 48 million tons of about 48 million tons per year of agricultural residues are available that can be utilized for preparation of value-added products. Agricultural rates are cheap, which indicates their higher potential for our purpose of reducing the cost of filtration. Besides the availability and low cost, utilizing cost-effective adsorbents will benefit the agricultural industry by providing a new income avenue for farmers by using their agricultural residues. In addition, during the preparation procedure, we can apply a specific treatment to make the prepared adsorbents a selective and highly efficient one for the, tar for the targeted pollutants. Here, you can see some numbers that shows how using of agricultural residues in wastewater treatment in industry can be appealing. Iron exchange resins are widely used in wastewater with a market of $1.45 billion in 2015 and projected to increase in future. The cost of biochar prepared from straw, including the cost of har harvesting and transportation, can be one-fifth of activated carbon. In conclusion, our cost-effective and eco-friendly proposed method, including the optimization and absorption, will have the advantage of cost-effectiveness, new income avenue for farmers, and the method is applicable for municipal and hospital wastewater treatment plants, and each of these steps can be applied independently to any plants. Thank you.